Lord our God, we thank you for always being close to us. We thank you for never having given up hope on us. We thank you that you gave us a new covenant, that this covenant doesn't contain hidden riddles that we have to unravel, and that it's not full of laws and things that we have to keep in the flesh. This new covenant has only one requirement of us, faith in Jesus Christ, the ransom for our sins. For us to accept this new covenant, we merely have to believe in the blood which Jesus Christ has shed for us. In our place and paying for sins on our behalf, and therefore we work hard every day, Lord, to gain victory over sin in our lives. We are directly at war with our own flesh, which wrestles against our spirit, according to Paul's words in Galatians 5:17, which says, For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are opposing one another, so that you don't do what you want to do. But our faith in you, Jesus, that is what gives us the power to overcome. So that all laws which may ever be valid for anything that is good may be written on the tables of our hearts and so we may be able to live according to your will, our Heavenly Father. Further, Paul says in Galatians 5.19, when you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. The children's songs, words come to mind. Jesus sees us weak and frail with eyes of friendship and of love. Why do we remain pitiful and lost? Let us go to Jesus now. We cannot create our own happiness, Father. We can't even determine our own health or lifespan. We're not even sure if we will be alive tomorrow. Why then do so many of us try to live without you and keep on doing our own thing? Lord, help us to see that the niceties of this world is not really what they seem to be. That true happiness only comes from you. That people cannot mix the world with you. You are far too perfect, too pure, too holy. You don't plan for the little fraction of time we spend on earth, but for the eternity lying stretched out ahead of us. Let us learn to focus on you, on eternity. Let us make steady work of getting sin out of our lives so that our pitiful state may change to one of victory, so that your spirit within us can work our victory forever. Then, and only then, will we be truly free, truly liberated from this world with all its chains. Then we will laugh louder, and our joy will be real, and our cups running over. To get there is to bear up our cross. But when you begin helping us, it all becomes easier and better. Thank you for being so willing to help us to obtain this mastery of the flesh. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.